Grand Rising Kings and Queens. I'll call you guys Kings and Queens because if you're on this channel, we put the class and class based shooter. Me, I consider myself the king, your boy Android Sensor 5. And we are back with another great video for that game called Payday 3. And we're just going to jump straight into it. This is the updated version of the AR DPS build. But now that we have that new uh, mechanic in it, this is the AR DPS dodge build. Uh, without further ado, we'll jump right into it and show you guys exactly what this does. We're going to start with the loadout into the skills, into a bit of the gameplay. And uh, by the end of this, I'm pretty sure you guys will agree that this is the best you can get when using the ARs as your main DPS. Let's go. you guys we're here looking at the loadout for our AR DPS build and um, you can use any AR for this particular build I just personally like the way this car preset looks matter of fact we'll go ahead and look at it right now um, I just really like the way it looks <coughs> um, you can use any <coughs> pardon me you can use any AR for this particular build yeah, they all work I just really like the way this one looks and I made my whole uh, aesthetic around this with uh, the psychopath maniac wolf I, it just seems like it would fit with him very well I used his regular mask I actually had this mask and I had the uh, renown award that you a uh, reward that you get the skull but I don't know if this has ha been happening to you guys let me know in the comments my renown rewards as far as the stickers and the patterns just disappear when I try to apply them to a weapon or a mask I mean, not all of them, but majority of them. Like, so look, right now, um, what, I forgot what, I think it's like level 25 or so. Um, and like more than half of the re uh, renowned rewards that I got were probably like stickers or something. And more than half of them are missing. So until I get another skull and try to get it to work, I'm going to be using that aesthetic with uh, those beautiful gloves, the maroon and black with the maroon and black leather coat and hoodie combo but anyway y'all don't care about that let's go to what we're here for um car four is my weapon of choice for this particular build then i also like the hard liquid because it has the maroon on it and it just matches and to be honest my favorite secondary right now is the striker seven so you know i, I use it most of the time with a lot of different builds but again you can use any weapon you want any ar or any secondary will work perfectly fine with this and of course since this is a dps build the only way to get bonus damage from any deployable is through ammo ammo gives you an additional 20 percent to not just you but your whole team so it's good use it uh again you can use any overkill weapon that doesn't matter we're using the medium vest because we want a good mix between speed and protection because uh this is a stick and move type of build you got to keep moving but uh, you also don't want to just get one shot by everything. Flashbanks is always your best bet. And then uh, motion sensors just because of something particularly good in this build. Um, honestly, I guess I could call this the new dodge build. Uh, the new AR dodge build. Matter of fact, that's that's what we'll put in the title. That'll get a bunch of people want to look at it, I guess. It's not, it's, I promise you, it's not clickbait. This build really works that way. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to the skills, and then we're going to jump into the gameplay so you guys can see what's going on. I've been told my videos are too long, so let's uh, try to shorten it up a bit. Let's go. Uh, like I said, all we did was add on the last seven. Didn't really change that much. Actually, this one did change a little bit, so I probably should just go through everything. Alright, first thing we're doing is uh, pretty obvious ammo specialist, of course. Mostly before the scrounger because we want to never run out of ammo. I mean, um, never run out of throwables. Uh, but then, you know, the fully loaded because we need as many uh, ammo charges as possible because this is all about shooting our gun and keeping it going. Uh, we're skipping uh, played up. It's not bad to have, but we needed space for something else in the build. Uh, high grain, that's absolutely what makes this build 
you definitely need high grain. Do not skip that. That is where your a big chunk of your damage is going to come from. And since you have to be the main DPS and you want to knock down dozers without having to pick up overkill weapons, you need this particular skill. Um, mag throw, make sure your uh, teammates stay stocked up on ammo. Uh, that makes it so it's a... Uh, a double win-win for bringing the ammo back because I know as soon as you pull the ammo back out they're gonna be like oh my gosh why are you not bringing the overpowered medic bag now which is kind of funny that they're saying that because before me being a medic at heart uh, they never wanted to use the ammo bag they add in a new mechanic and now every other lobby has a medic bag long so short all of these deployables are useful please use them all look at these builds and use them all along bring the uh, ammo bag for this one if you're doing full dps and you're not using the ammo bag you're not a dps just bring the ammo bag trust the process jewel and beat <laughs> trust the process anyway uh a mag throw keep ammo in your uh, teammates so they don't take it out of your bag um top up of course you want to reach in there and get extra ammo and uh restock all your deployables even though you really don't need that it's mostly for the ammo because you're going to burn through ammo like water um and you have the scrounger so you're getting the throwables but uh it, it, it helps um then we're going mower of course um we're not using anything else in the mower and i know y'all gonna say ammo funnel and replenish but i'm telling you trust the process you got so much ammo all the time this doesn't even matter i promise you the only thing i do wish i had from this is uh sprint loaded because, like I said, this is a stick and move. It just didn't fit. So you just got to take a second, reload, and then stay on the move. Uh, we're skipping all of Infiltrator because, you know, that's not important. Uh, we're going to tank. Uh, tank, yeah, we want the 20% re, uh, regen speed because we need that. Um, we're going last man standing. That keeps everybody alive. I encourage most people to put that in their builds. And then we're going the uh, new clean slate uh, perk. Uh we just don't want to put all the stress on having to carry, uh, I mean, constantly dip into the uh, ammo, I mean, the armor stash. This makes it so we can kind of sustain ourselves without, you know, stealing all of the armor plates. If you need a plate, uh, by all means, get a plate. But a lot of times you don't really need to take all of the ar uh, armor. Go ahead, just pick up one of those repair kits and call it a day. Um, we're skipping everything in sharpshooter. I know you guys love this precision shot, but I'm telling you, you don't need it for this one. You're already doing enough damage. Uh, so we're skipping everything in sharpshooter. We're skipping everything in escapist. We're skipping everything in demolitionist. We're going straight into, um, uh, enforcer. We're only putting one perk there because we want to get face to face, face to face. Uh, makes it so not only are we a short, uh, close range threat, but we'll be a mid range threat as well. Uh, you want the extra damage at every every turn that you can get. You got the 20 for long, uh, mid range, and then this one for short range. Um, and then of course the combat reload because we want to um, keep those perks that we get, the uh, edge and grit constantly regenerating. We never want to be without edge and grit. We need that for the damage. Um, I think every build, no matter what, needs at least menacing, uh, manipulator and menacing. Everyone needs to be able to get a hostage. You want to be able to trade four hostages every every round, especially if you're doing uh, overkill or um, kiss the chef, which is like I said, what these builds are basically built around. You you need to be able to get a hostage. Everybody, it doesn't matter what your role is on the team. You need to be able to get hostage. You don't need to be able to trade them for resources, but you need to at least make one cop surrender at all times. Uh, we're skipping engineer. We're not using the sentries. We're not hip firing. We're aiming down sights. We're skipping grifter. We're skipping um, ha hacker. Uh, tactician, good, because uh, we can get edge every time we stun somebody, and we are definitely throwing stun grenades. Uh, and then uh, anyone we do stun, we get that extra 10% 10, 10 damage. Absolutely, we need that. Uh, strategist, uh, where I wish we had another point to put in here, but it's all good. Uh, this makes it so we can mark up to two things at once. Every time we mark them, we get that extra 20%, which we absolutely need with the combat marking. But this makes it so it's the dodge build. 
I know you guys have probably seen on YouTube where the YouTubers who act like they hate this game but they still seem to care about its whereabouts. I don't understand that. If you hate the game, just don't play it. Uh, but they constantly want to check up on it and write as many negative reviews as they possibly can. I wish you could get a limit on how many times you can downvote a game. But uh, it's not freedom of speech, I guess. Anyway this actually works a lot better than what you think it is and this is how i prove it to you other than the gameplay this same 10 percent uh goes exactly for scrounger as well which is only 10 percent this fills up your ammo i mean your throwables instantly just run through a pile of of enemies i mean of of um ammo drops this compared uh compared up with your uh, motion sensors you run through a crowd of enemies nine times out of ten nothing is shooting you it's like you're almost darn near invincible nothing can hit you unless they physically walk up to you and they melee you like it is as close as payday 2's dodge bill as you possibly can get on this game but you think that 10 percent is low until you see what I'm about to do with it and then on the, and it works for everything that's marked that's why you use the motion sensors because that allows you to mark up to 15 different enemies uh, a lot of times it's not really that many people shooting at you it just seems like it's a lot because if three of them shoot at you at the same time you're probably insta dead this makes it so you literally just feel like you're not getting touched long as you're moving and between all of the red highlighted people um, and if you do happen to go down everybody that's got all five of the people that's close to you they instantly get highlighted which just adds to this perk as well i'm telling you once you see it in game you'll you'll be a believer this is a a great start way, way better than what people say it's not they say it's not useful it's because they don't read all the perks and what you can and can't do on this game i promise you this works um and then of course since we're able to dodge run back and forth and we have the extra seven points we'll go ahead and get power lifter off of the transporter and then we need deep pockets for the uh extra two charges and then we come down to the bottom here we only put in one in fortitude because we don't care about uh the extra life for the down i mean we, we don't need that what we do need is uh, we need to be able to gain an extra 10% uh, of adrenaline because the more adrenaline we have, the better our double damage will be with uh, pain. And we definitely want them to, you, we want to get it at, at the littlest amount of possible. Like we get one health pack and it'll at least be a third of our health bar. So we have all that extra time to deal that extra damage. Everything's doubled. Uh, I think with this particular build, you have a total of, what is it? Uh, I think it's 250 extra damage. Well, no, 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 no. I apologize. It's 150 extra damage. Definitely need it. And then, of course, to round out our uh, um, our ammo bag, we get the last two, which would equal uh, what is it? Eight in each. Uh, eight charges in each bag, which would be, or is it six charges in each bag? I think it's eight. Hey, hey, anyway, it's 12, 12 in total, I believe, um, which is kind of weird because like I said, when I'm using this, I still notice that there are, I think, like four extra slots that they could be. So I guess they're going to add in another line that's going to give you even more charges specifically for the ammo bag because the other, uh, the medic bag and the shield bag is completely full, but your ammo bag is still missing charges. So eventually, maybe they might up it again, and add, or maybe they won't up it again. And they might, they might add in another couple of bits. But it, 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 from what it seems like is going, they're gonna add in another skill that's gonna give you an extra two or four um, ammo charges. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. I'm telling you, this build absolutely works. It shreds AR dodge build. Check it out. The cook is in the basement. Shit! We just walked into a fucking police raid. Secure the house. Don't get Here's one. Oh my god. Get this down. one that's always what? sitting what? right here. I got another set of boards. 
Oh, we shouldn't be down here. We should we should have took the I don't know why I followed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> we definitely shouldn't have been down there. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, Mariotic still upstairs all the way at the top. One. There's several things in the bathroom on the second, first floor. Uh, did anyone find the lights? I found it. I found it under the scaffolding. I forgot we were supposed to be getting a hostage. I can't believe we forgot about that. guys body is just dangling. Oh, oh, checking the notes okay we got a batch the purity will increase if you let it cook but don't let it sit for too long you can't win 
Put it in costume, sorry. Yeah, I know. That was my, my cook. You just did it, but that's fine. Well, I got all new ingredients in here. Yeah, yeah someone's watching. I already started once. Okay. All right, whatever. That should be the. That should be a bag. Though. The last one should be costly because uh, I put in hydrogen. I mean, uh, periodic acid. We traded our the hostage though is right there. God burn it.
I, I started looking at that. I was like, oh, Dex, you got the, uh, you got solid on because he hits you like a couple times. <laughs> and we were like that. Alright, uh, uh, I'm Like, uh, this was. What was that? Yeah, this is. Yo, well, this is for my video. I'm not doing this just to shut the camera. Yeah, like, gotta, uh, like, I'm just showcasing the, the build. <laughs> Exactly. You melt it. That's what you want. You'll be able to melt that dozer. Some sitting on the floor though. Oh yeah, that was, that was the last one. Signal. I see it in front of me. Oh no, I can hit it. Oh, okay. Ingredients are here. Bring them to the house. Oh, we burned another bag. <laughs> Stay behind me! Stay behind 
I don't know. Anybody, I guess. I only got one left. I don't know. What's in here? Don't got it. Oh wait, it's ingredients right here. No, no. Lights.
fuck? I don't think my team understood what I was doing. I only wanted to do three bags. For some reason, they went for the whole Kiss the Chef challenge. It doesn't matter. I was just showing them uh, the it definitely works. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.